Hey Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading for March 1st to the 7th. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages for you guys for the week. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You guys can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Um, if you are interested, um, I have created a free tarot keyword guide. So if you're somebody who has been interested in learning how to read tarot, um, maybe not really sure how to start or where to go, uh, it's a great guide. You can print it out and have it with you while you're reading, whether it's for yourself or for other people. Um, so if you're interested in that, the link for that will be in the description box below, or you can go to tenaciousoul.com slash tarot keyword, okay? So... Let's see where we go, Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn for the week? So we have broken heart, woman holding a heart, and seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. That is the crown chakra bottom of the deck we have action so I feel like you guys are kind of like healing your own heart um, I feel like you're very supported at this time I also feel like um, so in this woman holding a heart her hair is purple and it's the same color as this seventh chakra. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I almost feel like your guides and, um, you know, whoever's the universe, spirit, whoever's watching over you is helping you heal your heart. And it's helping you move forward with that action card. Come on. There we go. Yeah, there's like some guidance and almost like what to do. Like, I feel like, um, listen to your intuition right now. So I feel like you're getting a lot of messages. So what does Capricorn need to know for the week? Let's see. Capricorn... Nine of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords. All right. Like I said, I feel like you guys are getting over this um, broken heart. What card is this? We have Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys are working on something. Um, you're focused on work like there could be a little bit of focus around some like something that brings you happiness could be a new project with the ace of pentacles here something that maybe you're learning about what is this nine of cups for capricorn we have the wheel so luck is on your side something good came in or something two of swords king of cups the empress Nine of Swords. Someone has their eye on you. Somebody's watching you. Or was watching you in the past. We'll see if it comes up. They're not speaking. I don't think you're really... Like, this person has thought about coming forward. This person very much... Um, like, I feel like you are their Nine of Cups. You make them very happy. But I almost feel like they can't get out of their head about you. Like, they, it's preventing them from moving forward because they're not allowing themselves to move forward. They're just watching you. You look really good to them. Like, I feel like they're attracted to you. I feel like they... I don't know, there's something that's blocking them, though, and it can just even be their own fears. Yeah, there's something that's blocking them from moving forward towards you could be somebody from your past like I feel like you possibly know who this person is well I feel like you do know who they are I don't know if you've 
you've some of you have possibly had a relationship of some sort with this person. Um, so let's see what this Ace of Pentacles is. This could have been somebody who broke your heart in the past. So the Ace of Pentacles, we have the World, the Eight of Cups, Queen of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of, or sorry, Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, your work, you're focused on other things. I feel like there's a new project possibly that you're focused on because we have the King and the Queen of Cups here. So I feel like um, you, there was a cycle that ended here, like you moved on from this situation and I feel like you started something new and it very much could be something to do with work with the Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Um, some of you could be traveling, but there's something new that you're, that you've started. It could be a relationship, but for some of you, I'm getting more like it's something external to love, like it's a project or school even. Uh, could be work, a new job, maybe an online business, whatever it is for you guys. Um, what is this Knight of Pentacles? Clarify this Knight of Pentacles in the near future here for Capricorn. So we have the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Wands, Seven of Cups with the Chariot. So somebody does want to come towards you or they, they will be coming towards you. I would be cautious of whether this person keeps their options open though. I'm going to clarify that Seven of Cups. Um, they definitely are coming towards you though. They do want to have success with you. But I also feel like some of them like attention. Let's see. What is this Seven of Cups here in the near future? Like it may take the, I feel like it's going to take a while for this person. Like it's been a while since you've seen this person. I kind of feel like you know them. I feel like they might offer the Ace of Cups, but I feel like, yeah, at the end of the day, they just do what makes themselves happy. We have the sun clarifying the Seven of Cups with the devil at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person, I don't know, there's something here with the sun, Three of Pentacles, the Emperor, Six of Swords. It's almost like as soon as they get what they want, they maybe leave. I almost feel like too, like some of them can't, like they have a hard time letting go of their um, desires. Like their desires kind of like weigh them down. But I feel like just be cautious of that. Like this person might have something legit to offer you here. We do have the Emperor, the Empress. And some of you, they may feel like you're the best option. Like they see you as happiness. They want to work on things with you here with, and move forward to a better place here with the Six of Swords. But I almost, I just feel like use your intuition, use your discernment here. I do feel like they're single. But I, I do feel like, I don't know. They might have like backup options. I don't know. Let's see, what is the advice for Capricorn? The Knight of Cups. Advice for Capricorn. The Moon. Advice for Capricorn, Three of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, King of Cups. So this person does have a lot of love and emotions for you. I feel like they've kind of kept that from you though. And again, I'm getting a little bit of like, don't fall for the charm. Like there's some sort of illusion around how they come in, whether that just means that they're not fully expressing themselves, like they're keeping some of their emotions hidden. Um, I do feel like they do, like there's something to work on here because we have the three pentacles twice. This person may want to work on things with you, but they're coming around kind of slow. Like I feel like they, 
they do want to offer you something, but they're not really, I feel like possibly even in the past, they've been very impulsive. I feel like they're trying to be more st strategic maybe now rather than just being impulsive with that Knight of Wands energy, like that, um, you know, act on inspiration, but don't really have a plan as to what things are going, or where things are going. I feel like maybe now they want to plan things out with you. But again, there's something about, there's deep emotions. I feel like this person keeps things, they keep their emotions hidden. They don't express themselves well. And so it might kind of put up red flags. Um, for some of you, this could be somebody new. But I feel like there's some distance or some sort of distance or travel between you and this person. So just be cautious because I feel like there's somebody watching you and I feel like it's this person. Now, for some of you, I mean, this might not even be a past person. I feel like it is, though. It's somebody that you know for sure, if anything. So somebody's got their eye on you and I feel like right now you're kind of focused on your own thing. In the near future, I feel like that person is coming back in or there's a new person coming in. Um, but just be cautious of how they conduct themselves. With the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Cups, I just get worried that they're maybe keeping their options open or that they have other options and they're kind of maybe playing the field. But use your discernment because I feel like they do have love for you here. But you need to trust your intuition when it comes to this person. So that is what I have for you, Capricorn. <laughs> hopefully that helps. Uh, I'm not sure if that made things any clearer or not, but um, hopefully it was helpful. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if it did resonate with you. And if you guys are wanting to learn how to read tarot and get that tarot keyword guide, then you can click the description box. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.